90% of all diabetes cases in the U.S. are type 2 diabetes, directly related to food consumption or carrying extra weight. But in tonight's medical moment, we look into the way doctors are now trying to catch the problem before it come, becomes diabetes. Symptoms of type 2 diabetes include excessive thirst, frequent urination, fatigue, and sometimes even blurry vision. I mean, once you're having symptoms, that's sure. usually that sure. now your body's waving the white flag like, hey, we, we've got some serious problems here. But thanks to testing that's been around for more than a decade now, doctors can give potential type 2 diabetics a warning. Prediabetes is characterized by elevated blood sugars above normal but not to the extent that you have a known diagnosis of diabetes. Dr. Self adds screening for prediabetes has become more of a concern over the past two decades. To 20 years. Some of that is because we've gotten better at screening, but some of that is also the nature of our society. Again, as we talked about these risk factors with lifestyle, we tend to eat more, we tend to do less. We in America, we do a great job of typically consuming way more than what we need. A pre-diabetes screening can be done in one of four ways. Uh, we will do a fasting blood sugar check. Uh, we would do a random blood sugar check. Or we would do what's called an oral glucose tolerance test. Or even an A1C level, which is very characteristic in diagnosing and following uh, treatment of a known diabetic. Dr. Self says the fasting blood sugar test, which is easily done during an annual physical, will look for concerning sugar levels over 100. So that's the problem with prediabetes. People feel fine, they're walking around doing their normal day to day, but they don't even know that there's a concern for blood sugar. More than 86 million American adults have prediabetes. Which is a staggering number. That means one in three adults in America has prediabetes or this impaired glucose tolerance. That does not encapsulate the 29.1 million Americans that have diabetes. And for more information on pre-diabetes screening, you can go to the web address or call the phone number you see right there on your screen.